Hi everyone, I am super excited to show you um, these fun little cards I've been having so much fun with. Um, I just make these as little ephemera cards and I use them, I just clip them into journals. Um, then take them off and you can journal on the back. But I wanted to show you how I made this collection of them and then just put a few together for you so you can kind of see. But I've just been using these printables right here, these digital printables. Um, they come in black and white, and they also come in sepia, so you can kind of pick which look you're going for. But I love to just look at them all and wonder, like, what were they like? What did they deal with in their lives? Anyway, I think they're beautiful, and I love, love, love to play with them. So I'm going to just show you. I'll show you how I did everything. Most of them are already put together for the most part because I didn't want you to have to watch me ink and sew and all that. So I'll just show you the bits and pieces up nice and close so you can get an idea of the details. But this is avocado dyed lace back in the back and just a regular little piece of cream lace right there. And then I just took a little word, believe, and went ahead and stitched around it. And I just had this fun little blingy button. And then for her, I did the craft cardstock on the back. You could journal in there or put another picture, whatever you want. Make a pocket and put a little tag. Um, I just zigzagged around her and I went ahead and inked everything pretty good. And then I just had this big piece of lace that just was perfect. So she is super easy. All of these are going to be pretty easy because I've already done a lot of the legwork, but I am using my heavy duty glue just because these pieces are kind of heavy because I had so many layers. And I'm just going to stick it right there. And I'm not going to trim anything yet. I might trim some of that off later, but for now I'm leaving it just depending on where it's going in the journal. So voila, she is done. All right, here's another one I did. Now her I zigzagged around and I wanted this one to be smaller. So you can see I've kept it pretty small. Again, it's the craft cardstock on the back. And then if you can see that, it's just some copy dyed notebook paper right there. And then I put a feather behind her because I just love the effect. And I did ink it up just to give it a little grunge. Um, and then I zigzagged her on and then for the little bit for it, I have this beautiful gray lace and another piece of the cream lace and this fun fabric that I just loved. It kind of accented it. And then this cute little flower charm, which I might need to, oh, there we go. Now it's not backwards. And the word whole. I just love that concept. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and put most of the glue behind that thicker piece of lace so it doesn't come through but I'm really gonna kind of glue it on I'm telling you it's pretty heavy and then I'm gonna set that so that the lace actually comes off at the bottom and I don't want to cover up too much of her she's just beautiful give it a good press down and that one is done these are just so fun I just realized I didn't have my awesome light on for you guys. It's kind of goofy lighting tonight, but that's okay. All right, here's another one. Now this one I have not layered yet because I wanted to show you that you can use um, your glue sticks for these lighter papers. But I'm gonna be really thorough with it, make sure I get those cute little edges. So, for those of you kind of new that haven't amassed a collection of little bits and lace and charms and all of that yet, I'll try to put a few of my links below where I like to try to get some stuff. Um, mostly, a lot of it just kind of comes over time. Some of these big lace pieces that you'll see are actually from clothing that I found at like thrift stores. 
they're kind of out of style, but you get a ton of lace with them. And boy, that sure helps because lace can get pretty pricey. Some of this stuff is just ordered online from various shops. A couple of different favorites. Um, some of it I even got at Walmart, just in their little craft section. So you just start going a little here and a little there over time. I can link up to these cute little bulb pins though. I love these. So I'll try to remember to do that. But now she's done. And this, I should tell you, this is just white fabric and it's actually avocado dyed as well. So you get that really like beautiful pink, nice vintagey look. I'm gonna try to keep some of these in frame. They are so cute. Love them. And now I'm standing so I can block the sun coming in my window. Do you guys love her? I love her. I don't know. Every one of these that I found, and I had to hunt high and low, but every one of them I found, I put them in the collection because they spoke to me. Something about them just said, tell my story. I don't know. That sounds kind of goofy, but I just, I just get kind of attached to all of them and think they're all so wonderful. So I hope you can appreciate that side of them and have some fun with that. Now I'm going to set her up a little bit higher. There we go. All right, let me give you a close up of this little bit. So this is actually avocado paper that I just used my fun little lace punch with. Um, and then I have some beautiful pink lace, if you can see that in the back. And then some more cream lace. I have that cream lace in like 20 different styles. I love it. And this I actually just got at Walmart. Just a little bit that they had in their craft section. Um, hmm, I wonder if I'm even supposed to say that on a video. <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. Okay, and then I got these little words here and I zigzagged all of it together just to hold all of those layers because they are, like I said, they're pretty thick layers. There's quite a lot to them, which I like because I like things to just be kind of substantial. And I'm going to let that pink kind of hang down over the edge because I don't want to cover up all of her. Okay, I love that. So I just have pattern paper in the back on this one and I wanted that contrast with just a little bit of that turquoisey color in there so there she is all beautiful and finished all right here is another one this one's an older style photo I love her love her here's some more of that turquoise pattern paper because I wanted to have one that kind of had a little more pop of color to it so here's a close-up of that paper, if you can see that. Kind of a grungy look. Pop that on there. So all of these on the back are just craft cardstock because I just wanted to have a solid foundation to put all of these on. So that's why I chose to do it that way. You know what would be fun? I'm gonna I'm gonna offset her just to see how I like it. So I'm gonna put her kind of kitty corner. All right, this one is Conquer. I love it. Now this one I used some of this cheesecloth and I did coffee stain it, but you can't really tell. And then this is just kind of a turquoise, kind of a ribbon, if you can see better from the back. And that's just a little bit of a bling that I had around. And again, zigzagged it all together. Trying to keep it simple, but make it beautiful. It'll be handy to have these just pre-made. Stick them right in my journal with their little, oh, I think that's fun to turn this one too. Hmm, hmm. I think I'll do a little bit of the offset on this. That'll be fun. And like I said, I might trim some of this off later, this little extra cheesecloth, but I mean, that'll be just so fun to stick right there in the in a journal or you could use it as a tag stick it down in a pocket but a little bit harder to do that because they're chunkier you can kind of see they have some depth to them 
All right, let's see. I'm trying to keep all these cute ladies in frame for you to just see the light coming in. Okay, here's another one. So for her, I wanted to do a feather again because I just think that's so like 20s and vintagey. So I picked me up a few feathers. You could just get them out of your coat. Just kidding, you can buy them, they're super cheap. You can get them at the craft store, just about anywhere, so no problem at all. All right, here's her. Look, I think I forgot to ink her. We can't have that. We can't have a non-inked lady. I'll just throw a little ink on there really quick. It just gives it that look around the edges that I just love. Make sure I'm still in frame here. Use my super duper glue stick. And I'm gonna put her up high so I have room to put her. Oh, I forgot her feather, you guys. I forgot her feather. I'm gonna throw down a ton of extra glue right there. She needs her feather. And I just want it to stick out the side too, just so we have it on both ends. Now I think I'm gonna go in and put just a touch of my heavy duty glue down. There we go, that'll hold it better. So she's super cute. I like this look on her face. I wonder what is she thinking about? Anyway, fun, fun. Okay, again the coffee dyed lace and avocado paper and this cute cream you can see kind of a theme coming to get all these little bits to come together. Then I did the word inspire because she just inspired me. And zigzag, oh my fingers are a mess. And a cute little pearl that I had, a half pearl. So we'll go ahead and stick that on there. We're finishing a room in a basement right now. So my hands are torn to shreds from working all day, but it'll be awesome when it's done, so. Worth it. All right, now for her, I also wanted to add just a little something more. So I just kind of tied this up here. This is just the avocado white fabric that I avocado dyed, and then it's really cool because you can just tear it into these little shreds just little strips, just start it with a cut and then just tear the rest of the way. And it gives this really beautiful um, ribbony effect. Super simple and you get a lot for just a little bit of a fabric. You can use it for a ton of stuff. So I'm gonna put that up there. Oh, I didn't wanna cover her that much, that's okay. We'll just lift it a little bit more. Anyway, so that's fun to kind of have that with her as well. And let's see, I can fit her right here. You can still see her, yep. All right, last one. Just get that paper put down, first thing. I could go back through and zigzag some of these on with my sewing machine, but I didn't want all of the backs of them to have the zigzag stitching on it. It just makes it a little harder to journal so I didn't want to do too much more, so I just tried to keep it a little simpler. And here's her. I love her. Ugh, I love them all, you guys. <laughs> ah, who knew, huh? I didn't used to get the vintage picture thing, but I'll tell you, if you try it, you are gonna love it. Because there's just something about those images, I don't know. All right, now her little bit says dream. And I have again the avocado fabric that I just kind of frayed the edges. The gray lace is at the very back. Then I have this cream lace and some fun little blingies and dream and I zigzagged around it all. So I mean that's one, two, three, four, four layers and the little blingies. So it's just kind of fun to mess around and layer with some different options that you have, um, whatever it may be. It could be paper, it could be fabric, it can be textured like feathers. Um, 
You know, the sky's the limit, and that's why I love this craft of ours that we love so much. You can kind of do whatever you want and find treasures anywhere that are going to make for some beautiful, beautiful ephemera. So I'm going to put her right up there. Stick that down really good. Anyway, there you have it. There you have the beautiful vintage ladies. Um, and that was pretty quick and easy and you've got a bunch of these cards. So, I mean, go and create, have some fun with it. I'll try to link up below where I've gotten some of these supplies. Cause I know sometimes that can be the hard part is knowing where to find some of these fun supplies. So hopefully you can get some ideas and get inspired and have some fun. Thanks ladies, bye.